Stagiary. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So as you can see by the title of this video today, I'm going to be doing like a warm chestnut brown fall makeup tutorial. So basically I really love fall and like browns and like oranges and like burnt orange <laughs> colors. Um, just because I feel like it's so cozy and like just feels like a hug. So I don't know, like uh, yeah, I just felt like I wanted to do a fall makeup tutorial so i guess if you guys want to see that then just keep on watching so for today's uh eye look i'm going to be using the morphe 3502 palette the morphe 3502 palette used to be one of my favorite palettes of all time um the morphe 3502 as well it's very like fall to me because it has so many like burnt oranges browns like mocha browns some reds in there like it's just very fall to me which is why i liked it so much i have always been like a huge fan of like reds like browns fall colors like if you know me you know like i love like this isn't halloween but like autumn fall type thing so yeah that's the palette that i'm going to be using today um so yeah i guess let's just get started since it is a tutorial i am going to be talking more through the things that i'm using i know or like uh hello who is she but yeah <laughs> so to prime my eyes i'm going to be using the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer in the shade c10 i always get a little bit lighter shade concealer and that's also a good thing because if i want to like highlight with it under my eyes i can also use the same concealer but i like to prime with a little bit lighter concealer just so the eyeshadow like shows up a little bit better and has a little bit more pigment but also I just kind of like that light uh, eyeshadow base look. It's not that much lighter than my skin as you can tell but I just like it. And I also really like this concealer to do it because it is a very creamy. It is very like full coverage in my opinion. I mean it's full coverage for uh, like an inexpensive. It's a good price and it's a good formula and coverage for the price. Recently I have been going straight in with a blending brush because I found that it like it blends out easier instead of like stamping it down and also it's just more of like a less intense blend which is kind of the goal. So I am going to take this light color in the palette. This palette doesn't have like names of the shades so we're just going to be like going by kind of like the look of them and stuff. So I'm just going to start blending that in the outer corner and also in the inner corner of my eye and I am using the Morphe M441 brush to put it down first and blend it out and then I also go in with the Morphe M504 brush with nothing on it and just continue to blend that out these are like my main go-to blending brushes that I like love from Morphe so that's why y'all see me using these brushes 24-7 because it's like, these are like the best brushes in my opinion. You're also going to see me winging it out a little bit, like on the outer part. Guys, if I have the like mirror in front of my face, I'm so sorry. I'm just starting to like use a hand mirror to do my makeup because... Okay, so when I have like, I have like a square mirror here, I'm going to do a filming setup soon, but I have like a square mirror here, but sometimes when I want to get close, I'm like out of frame a little bit. So I'm like, okay, I'll just use like a hand mirror so I can make sure I'm in frame and everything and like you guys can see my eyes and everything, but sometimes I'll be like, be like this and like covering up my eye and like that kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm just trying to like level it so you guys can see, but so like I can also see good and everything, if that makes sense. <laughs> And now I am going to take the brown shade that's under that light shade and I'm going to put that in the crease but under that shade that I just put down and just go ahead and start blending that out. Every time I watch my videos I feel like it looks like, I said this before I think, it looks like I'm holding the brushes so hard but it's just because my fingers are so big I would literally have to like, even like holding it like this it looks like I'm like gripping it because my fingers are so big. So I'm blending a very lightly on my eye but it just doesn't uh, look like it that much because I have a little baby fat I have a little baby fat fingers. 
And now I'm going to go to the third color on the third row and I'm going to take that and put it in my crease as well. I say this all the time but basically the way that I do my eyeshadow and the way that I blend is I just basically put down the colors kind of in the same spot but a little bit lower than the other shade and just like blend that out because I feel like it makes a gradient and it just is kind of like putting the color on top of the other one and blending it into it if that makes sense. Now we're going to take the fifth color in the fourth row which is like a darker brown and we're going to take that and we're going to put that on the outer part of the eye and blend it halfway. So when you're blending it into the crease you don't want to take it the whole way to the front. You just kind of want to put it on the this outer V part. And then we're going to go back into that first uh, color that we used and just try to continue to blend everything out. I usually will take the first color again and just like go over the edges of everything just to make sure everything looks like blended out and seamless to me. You better be straight if you're looking at me and need a soldier. And I'm going to take a flat brush and using the same brown shade that I used for the outer V part, I'm going to put that on my lid. So I'm going to leave the inner corner a little, the inner corner and like right here of the lid a little bit blank because we're going to go ahead and put a lighter shade there. And then we're going to, in a little bit after we do this next step, we're going to do an eyeliner but we're going to like smoke it out. So you're going to want to take that brown shade that we've been using and tap once or twice very lightly into the black so you can make it darker and you're kind of just going to put it kind of where eyeliner would go, kind of in the same V shape that we have been doing with that brown. And now we are going to take the second shade in the first row, which is like a very like champagne-y, shimmery shade, and we're going to take that on a flat brush, and we're going to go ahead and put that where we left that space in the front and I'm actually gonna take that moisty fluffy brush and just blend that out with that brown shade like blend out the edges okay so now we are going to do eyeliner I always get nervous when I'm like doing an eye and I like the base so far then I have to like do eyeliner I get so nervous but this eyeliner is kind of gonna is gonna be like blended out to go with the look so like even if you mess up you can clean it up that's why you kind of want to keep that sharp because that's where you'll put the eyeliner um if you mess up you can clean it up and then if you like basically if you're blending out an eyeliner it doesn't really matter that much if you mess up because you're gonna be blending it out and if you mess up at the bottom you can clean it up so like so i'm going to be using the maybelline long lasting drama gel liner in the shade blackest black so basically I'm just going to take that on a small liner brush. I'm going to go kind of where that line is. I'm just going to do a liner. Okay, and it does look like a very, very long, but for right now it's like, it looks like eyeliner, but it's not going to for long. So I'm just going to take the brush that came with the eyeliner. And at first we're just gonna smudge the eyeliner so you're gonna wanna like drag it up. I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics small fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into that brown again and also into the black. And I'm gonna take it on top of the liner and just start smudging it out. You're kind of going to go in upward motions and you're also going to keep that V shape like before. See and how it just looks like very vampy and blended out. That's kind of like how you want it to look. And now I'm going to take the Carly brush just to blend that out some more.
and then we're gonna take the eyeliner brush and just make a line on the front of the eye because we didn't do that earlier just because we were blending it out so it didn't really matter but this is the line that you're not gonna blend out so you can see the black line across so basically this is what it looks like I kind of want to make it a little bit more brown so I'm gonna take the Morphe M441 brush again I'm going to go in to the second shade on the second row I'm gonna just start blending that out with the brown and also bringing it a little bit to the front also like how this is very dark and vampy y'all know I love a dark eyeshadow look and I just feel like for fall you can do like dark and like vampy because it's like just that's just like the feeling of fall it can also be like warm oranges but it can also be like dark and vampy and I think that's why like I love fall so much no matter what look it is it just feels so like I don't know like the season and like pretty and warm even if, it, if it's a dark look in my opinion I feel like it can still look warm so that's why I love fall so as you guys can see it's dark over here but it's very like light and a brown in the front and now I'm gonna finish off the other eye so I zoomed the camera out just so you guys can like see more of my face I didn't I already put on lashes and finished up my other eye so this is what the eye look is looking like right now I really like it with a big lash I don't know because I feel like it emphasizes just like I don't know just the big fullness of it if you also want to use a lash that like flares out at the end I think that'll be really nice too because it'll just emphasize the shape of it so now I'm gonna move on to my face so first I primed but I'm gonna prime but I also primed already so I have been using this priming uh, things together and it has been like I feel like I loved it for like inexpensive priming so first before I do my eyebrows and everything I'll spray the makeup revolution aqua priming base and this is just like a spray one and then I'm gonna take the makeup revolution glass skin primer and I just take one pump of this if you don't like oily primers and stuff I don't really think that this primer is for you because it is pretty oily even like you can see when I'm putting it on my face looks very like hydrating and hydrated and oily but I feel like once you put on foundation it doesn't keep that oiliness I feel like it just uh, melts with the foundation and makes the foundation look dewy in my opinion so yes it does feel oily on your fingers and it does look oily on your face before you put anything down but once you put the foundation on top, I feel like it blends with the foundation and just makes it look very dewy. And then I'm going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which this primer, y'all, is bomb. And I just take it with my finger. It's kind of probably unsanitary, but it's me. And I, like, wipe off my face. I mean, wipe my hands off. And I just put it on the corner of my nose because I have a lot of pokes in here at first. Because I have a lot of pores there. And then I just take a little bit more on my finger. And just put it all over my face because I just feel like it smooths everything out. And as you guys can kind of tell, my face looks very hydrated and very just like smooth. So yeah, I have been really loving this priming trio. And I also really like how it's all inexpensive uh, primers. So I'll show you guys one more time. So this is it. So it is the Makeup Revolution Pro Base Aqua Priming Base, and then the Makeup Revolution Glass Skin Primer, and then the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, This I actually got one sale at so I hope that they still have it, fingers crossed, because like I said, this trio, especially for inexpensive like drugstore makeup, I would definitely recommend, because all of these together couldn't have been more than $30, and that's for three. So, and th they all will last you a pretty good amount of time because they're all pretty good sizes. Especially this doesn't look that big, but if you put your finger on it, like, a lot comes off. So, yeah, I definitely recommend using these three primers together. <laughs> and now I'm going to take my foundation, which I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte Poilish in the shade 334. And I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of the... L'Oreal, sorry, available Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 
111 this used to be my go-to like foundation combo and like i fell off and then i started using this uh the fit me foundation which i love it is a very you can build it up for it to be full like not full i would say like medium coverage and it's also very nice for like a natural look so i would definitely recommend this foundation and this one is a little bit more full coverage and matte so when you mix these together i just feel like it gives me a fuller coverage which i really like i always do the top half of my face first just because i think i said this in another video i think i was so used to using the um fenty foundation which i love um and it dries down pretty fast so i would like do the top of my face and then like do the bottom and make blend up and then by the time I'm like blending at the top the bottom will be set already so I think I just like learned to like do the top of my foundation first and I'm just gonna take a dot of this other foundation and blend that in with it usually I'll put it down on like a palette or something but this is very full and every time I pour it out I like waste stuff and i hate wasting stuff i'm just gonna go in and blend that out with this morphe sponge um i hate wasting stuff so i've just been going straight in to the bottle so yeah i know you guys are probably tired of hearing me say it but this sponge is really good for sharpening eyeshadow because it has a, sh a sharp straight and so you just it makes you get close to the eyeshadow without ruining it and with this look i do want a very sharp line so i'm just going to take the foundation up and under that line to make it very sharp i feel like i do my makeup so weirdly <laughs> but i mean there's not really a weird way to do makeup because everyone does it in their own way everyone does it for how it works for them and how like yeah it works for them i i'm not gonna take the sonia kashik sponge because it's bigger and i feel like it covers more ground quicker and after i do my under eyes since there's no other like little spaces that i have to get in i just like to get it done quick because like I'll be like all right let's get it <laughs> done and powder highlight has not been my friend recently so I'm going to be taking this LA colors and this <laughs> LA colors eliminating skin enhancer in the shade sun goddess and I'm just gonna do two dots right there and I'm just gonna take this uh Bro Techniques setting brush and I'm just gonna start blending that out and I really like the way a liquid highlighter looks sometimes I'll put it under my foundation sometimes I'll put it over it I don't really like putting it over powder because it just sticks and I feel like it lifts up the powder and it just doesn't lay well so I don't really like doing that but it looks very hydrated and like wet so I really have been liking liquid um, highlighters recently. And then I'm going to take that same concealer that I used to prime my eyes, which is a Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. And I'm going to use that to conceal under my eyes. It looks very light, but I feel like it blends out good for a highlight anyways. Sometimes in the summer, in the summer, I probably wouldn't use this concealer at all. It actually looks a little bit light. Oh, I was, I was outside in the sun a little bit today. I'm never outside in the sun, so I got a little bit extra tan. But, um, yeah, in the summer, I would never probably use this to highlight because it would be way, way too light. And sometimes if I feel like it looks too light, I'll take that foundation brush and just put some of that foundation that's left over on the brush and just put it around it just so it'll blend that concealer out and just blend it up into the concealer focusing on the outer like uh edges of where the uh sorry i always say uh 
of focusing where the foundation and concealer meet okay and now I'm going to set that with the makeup the makeup revolution luxury powder in the shade banana Okay, so I just finished up my face. I really didn't do much. I just continued to powder the whole face. I put on a little bit of blush and then I just put on setting spray. So now I'm going to move on to my lower lash line. So I'm just going to take the third color in the third row. I'm just going to take that and put it on my lower lash line with a flat brush. And then I'm going to take the fourth shade on the fourth row and then the black and you're going to want to tap that on your hand so it's not too intense and you're going to put that on the lower lash line as well making sure to connect it with and we're going to just put that halfway kind of so it matches and now we're going to move on to lips so i'm going to be doing basically like a brown nude lip so i'm going to take the nyx liquid suede lipstick in the shade downtown beauty i'm just going to line my lips with this i'm also going to like rub my lips together to like get it all over the lip and now you can just leave it at that you see how like the brown my face looks really white right now i think it's because of all the lights it really isn't like that in person <laughs> but um yeah you could leave the lip like this you see how like the browns kind of match but I'm gonna take that makeup revolution concealer I'm gonna put that in the middle of my lips okay and that just kind of creates you guys see like that ombre light uh, conceal it in the middle but then it blends out to that brown lip I think that is really cute and I also kind of feel like even without overlining my lips it kind of makes my lips look a little plumper and stuff I don't know why I think it's because the ombre just like draws the eye like outward so then it kind of makes the lips <laughs> look a little bigger if that makes sense <laughs> but this is the finished look so yeah I really like the eye look and everything I will hope you guys try this out because I just love when it's fall to do like a vampy look and i feel like it just makes you feel so like i don't know like fall inspired and just like vampy and just like so cute <laughs> so yeah i might be doing like i'm so excited for halloween because i'm go definitely going to be doing halloween videos but maybe i'll do like a softer not softer like a lighter like orange creamsicle type pumpkin spice look that's a little bit like later not so dark if you guys want to see that i guess just leave it in the comments down below if you think that's a good idea i mean yeah i'll probably <laughs> do it but um yeah if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe turn on my post notifications to be notified every time that i upload i upload on mondays and fridays so yeah turn on my post notifications to be notified for that <laughs> um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye